دير فيرست سكندري السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته It's Mr. Ahmed Mahmoud with you today to introduce a new mathematics lesson The lesson today inshallah it's a geometry unit 5 lesson 2 The lesson is called Thales Theorem And Thales is the name of the mathematician who create this uh, theorem uh, The theorem is uh, we in this theorem we are going to study as we studied the last time the parallel lines but on a wider field let's let's start the lesson the theorem is called theorem 2 okay it is related to the parallel lines first that we have a parallel lines l1 l2 l3 l4 and so on and let we have two transversals t1 the first transversal t2 is the second transversal okay if i gave you the intersection points like this a b c d x y z l okay and if i gave you the length of the included segments like this a b two centimeters x y three centimeters b c three centimeters y z 4.5 centimeters c d 5 centimeters z l 7.5 centimeters okay now i'm going to take the ratio between the segments as follow first a b over x y a b over x y it is equal 2 over 3 again 2 over 3 now the second ratio between b c and y z bc over yz equals 3 over 4.5 3 over 4.5 as you see here 3 over 4.5 in its simplest form equals 2 over 3 so it is equal 2 over 3 as ab over xy another ratio cd and zl again cd and zl okay it is 5 over 7.5 like this 5 over 7.5 in the simplest form equals 2 over 3 also like a b over x y and b c y z okay now i'm going to talk a new i'm going to take a new uh, line segment like for example if i take a c so a c the opposite to a c is x z so by taking the ratio between a c and x z like this a c over x z equal equals 2 plus 3 5 and 3 plus 4.5 equals 7.5 so it is equal 5 over 7.5 also equal 2 over 3 so ac over xz looks like the previous ratios 2 over 3 and also i'm going to take another line segment bd and its opposite is yl so bd over yl like this equal 8 over 12 because 3 and 5 8 4.5 plus 7.5 equals 12 it is equal 2 over 3 in the simplest form okay finally the rest the the final line segment is ad ad equal 2 plus 3 plus 5 equal 10 its opposite line segment is xl so the length between the ratio between them ad over xl equal 10 over 15 and 10 over 15 also equal 2 over 3 so the ratio between any two corresponding line segments is constant again the ratio between any two line segments corresponding line segments is constant finally i can say that ab over xy as you see equal bc over zl over yz excuse me finally cd over zl like this i can add to them ac over xz or bd over yl or ad over xl all of them are equal the theorem said given several coplanar parallel lines and two transversal as we see a t1 and t and t2 then the lengths of the corresponding segments on the transversals are proportional okay let's take 
uh, two special cases for this theorem. The first special case, if we have two parallel lines like this, L1 and L2, and they uh, the transversals intersect, and they already parallel. Transversal intersect at the point M like this. T1 intersect to T2 uh, equals M. Okay, and let we have a hidden parallel lines passes through M like this. So we get what? We get that the proportional line segments are, uh, sorry, the corresponding line segments are proportional. Like AM over MB. equal xm over my again am over mb equal xm over my this is as the same as uh, as we studied in the last lesson this is the intersection between two parallel lines okay the intersection of two transversal between two parallel lines uh, or we can Add another ratios AM over AB equal XM over XY as the previous lesson, or MY over XXY equal MB over AB. All of them are equal. Another special case, number two, if we have parallel straight lines like this and two transversals intersect them T1 and T2 in which the lengths of the segments between the first transversal are equal a b c d x y z l where a b equal b c equal c d so also x y equal y z equal z l this is as we started in the first prep okay also we studied this talus theorem in the first prep but but this is special case only the last of the cases uh, related to first secondary. Okay, so if L1 parallel to L2 parallel to L3 parallel to L4 and B A B par equal B C equal C D as I said, so X Y equal to X Y Z equal to Z L as you see. Okay, and this is the special case. Let's solve the next question. In this example, okay, in each of the following figures, calculate the numerical value of x and y. Okay, now we have two uh, several parallel lines like this. Okay, and I can uh, solve this one by many ways, but the, the easiest way related to this example, I'm going to take y over 3 equals 15 over x plus 2 equals 10 over 6 or 6 over 10 equal x plus 2 over 15 or equal 3 over y so now we have three ratios 6 over 10 equal x plus 2 over 15 equals 3 over y now i'm going to make a cross multiplication x plus 2 equal 6 times 15 over 10 so x plus 2 6 times 15 over 10 equals 9 i'm going to send plus 2 to the right side as minus so x equal 9 minus 2 equals 7. This is the value of x. Now, y, 3 over y equals 6 over 10. So, y equals 3 times 10 over 6. Again, y equals 3 times 10 over 6. So, y equals 3 times 10, 30 over 6 equal 5. So, this is the value of y. The next question, I'm going to take 
x plus 2 over 12 equal 3 over y equal x minus 1 over 8. x plus 2 over 12 equals 3 over y equals x minus 1 over 8. So now uh, if I start with x plus 2 times y, it's useless because we have in this equation two unknowns. So I will start by taking the first fraction with the third fraction. So x plus 2 times 8 equal 12 times x minus 1. Again, x plus 2 times 8 equal 8 x plus 16. And 12 times x equal 12 x. 12, 12 times negative 1 equals negative 12. Okay, now I'm going to send 12 x here and send 16 there. So 8 x minus 12 x equals negative 12 minus 16. 8 minus 12 equals negative 4 x equals negative 28 cross the negative together so x equal 28 divided by 4 equals 7 this is the value of x now I can find the value of y uh, here x plus 2 7 plus 2 equals 9 so y equal 3 times 12 over 9 again y equal 3 times 12 over 9 so y equal 3 times 12 equal 36 over 9 equals 4 so y equal 4 another 1 this is in the same question number 3 here we have 3 parallel lines as we see okay um, now I can start this line with this line but here we have uh, two unknowns uh, x and y so it is difficult to start with this line with this line and this line okay the best way is starting with this line and this line so it will be like this x plus 2 x plus 2 over 20 equal x minus 8 over 12. I'm going to make a cross multiplication. So 20 times x equal 20x. 20 times negative 8, negative 160. 12 times x equal 12x. Sorry, it's this equal. Twelve x twelve times two equals positive twenty four. Collect x in one side so twenty x minus twelve x and negative one hundred sixty go there so it will be twenty four plus one hundred and sixty. Twenty minus twelve equals eight x. 24 plus 160 equals 184. Send the x there so x equal 184 divided by uh, 8. 184 over 8 equals 23. So x equal 23. Okay, here x equal 23. 23 plus 7 equal 30. So y over 12 from here y over 12 equal 30 over 20 so y equal 12 times 30 over 20 which is equal 18 so y equals 18 number 4 here in this case 
we have C E equal E Y or E is a midpoint. So also D is a midpoint. So 3X minus 1 equal 2X plus 3. Okay. 3X minus 1 equal 2X plus 3. I'm going to collect X in one side and the numbers in one side. So 3X minus 2X equal positive 3 plus 1. 3X minus 2X equal X. 3 plus 1 equal 4. This is the value of X here. Uh, 2y plus 7 equals 3x plus 1. So 2y plus 7. This is 7. Equal 3x plus 1. 3x, 3 times 3, uh, 3 times 4, 12 plus 1 equals 13. Send 7 there as minus it will be 6. 2y equals 13 minus 7 equals 6. And send 2 divided. So y equals 6 divided by 2 equals 3. So y equal 3 and x equal 4. Now number 5. In this case, we have here a m equal to m uh, uh, f d. Again, a m equal to f d. So m b equal to C D uh, E C again M B equal to C E therefore 4 X minus 1 equals to X plus 7 okay I'm going to collect X in one side so 4 X minus 2 X like this send the negative 1 it will be plus 1, so 7 plus 1. 4x minus 2x equal 2x. 7 plus 1 equals 8. Send the 2 there divided, so x equal 2. Uh, excuse me, 8 divided by 2 equals 4. Okay, now to find the value of y here by using a b parallel to c d as you see. So 2 over 3 equals 2 over 3 equals y minus 4. 2 over 3 equals y minus 4 of over this number. Again. 2 over 3 equals y minus 4 over this number or by another way 2 over y minus 4 equals 3 over 4x minus 1 the two ratios are correct okay so I'm going to take 2 over 3 equal 2 over 3 uh, equal am over mb okay it will be y minus 4 over 4x minus 1. x equal 4. 4 times 4 is 16 minus 1 equal 15. So y minus 4 equals 2 times 15 over 3, which is equal 30 over 3 equal 10. By send 4 there, so y equal 14. Okay, so to make it easy for you, if I take two over three, so what is the rest of the num of the line included two? It is y minus four. So because y minus four and two lie at the, at the same line, so if I make two over three two up, so y minus four must be up. Okay, or by another way. 2 over y minus 4 equals 3 over 4x minus 1. Number 6. Here we have uh, two cases. 
here d and e are midpoints so x plus 6 equals 3 x minus 2 here 3 x minus 2 equal x plus 6 collect x together so 3 x minus x equals 6 plus 2 so x 2 x equals 8 so x equal uh, 4 okay now there is a common mistake what is this common mistake some of the students take <coughs> 3y minus 2 over 5y minus 1 equal x plus 6 over 3x minus 2 and this is a fatal mistake here 3y minus 2 or ed over bc equal ae over ac again this is from the similarity of the of the two triangles again ed over BC equal AE over AC but actually I'm going to solve it by another way how come now by looking E and D are two midpoints therefore ED equal half BC again ED equal half BC or BC is double 3Y minus 2 so you can solve it by two different ways ED over BC equal A, <coughs> AE over AC or ED equal half BC or BC is double ED and this is uh, the easiest way so 5Y minus 1 equals 2 times 3Y minus 2 this is 2 so 5y minus 1 equals 6y minus 4 collect x together y together so 5y minus 6y equals negative 4 plus 1 so 5y minus 6y equals negative y equal negative 3 cancel negative together so y equal 3 okay the next question in the opposite figure a b intersect cd at m e belong to e b uh, a c parallel to e f parallel to b d as we see okay the first required to find the length of mf the second required to find the length of am okay now i'm going to find the length of m uh, uh, of mf or i can find the first of uh, the line of a uh, the length of am first okay here 9 over 15 equals 6 over fm equals am over mc again since ac parallel to ef parallel to bd therefore therefore BE opposite to what BE opposite to DF equal EM over EM opposite to FM equal what from the common mistakes some of us see 6 so he are going he's go, he's going to take 18 up it's mistake because 6 as the same line of a m so i'm going to start with a m up so it is a m over m c okay now 
to make it easy b e a m a m all of them lie at the same straight line b e a m and a m down d f f m m c all of them lie at the same straight line okay now i make substitution so 9 over 15 equals 6 over f m equals a m over 18 okay from the previous f m equals 6 times 15 over 9 again 6 times 15 over 9 6 times 15 over 9 equals 10 centimeters and also a m equals 18 times 9 over 15 or 18 times 6 over 10 both are correct 18 times 9 over 15 equals 10.8 so a m equals 10.8 centimeters uh, let's solve the next question okay now by looking to the, ne the next question a b parallel to c d parallel to e f a c 5 c k 10 k f equals 7.5 b e 18 find uh, b d find d k find k e okay now k e over 18 equal 7.5 over a f again by looking carefully he gave me the length of e f of b e uh, sorry equals 18 okay i don't have e k or, or k d or b d so i will use the 18 how come since f e and a b parallel so e f uh, sorry e k over e b equal f k over f a okay now i'm going to call to make it easy for you i will call e k x so x over 18 equal 7.5 over 22.5 okay since a b parallel to e f therefore e k or x over 18 equals 7.5 over 22.5 so x equals 18 times 7.5 over 22.5 x equal 6 now ke equal 6 now it is very easy to complete uh, to find what you want okay now since ef parallel to dc parallel to ab therefore now i'm going to make a proportion okay 6 over 7.5 equals kd over 10 equal bd over ce so here i'm going to write ek this is ek and kd and db all of them lie at the same straight line down f k k c and c a it is equal six seven point five and k d over ten d b and five okay now kd equal 10 times 6 over 7.5 so kd equal 8 
and db equal 5 times 8 over 10 or 5 times 6 over 7.5 bd equals 4 Now, example four, A, B, and C, D are two intersecting straight lines at the point E. So I'm going to draw two line segment like this in which they intersect at the point E. Okay, now this is A, B, and this is C, D, as you see. Okay. X belongs to AB, so I'm going to put X here. Y belongs to CD, so I'm going to write Y here. Okay. And XY, this is XY, parallel to BD, parallel to AC, like this. Now, prove that ax times ed equals cy times eb okay now by looking carefully here i can here we have one two three parallel lines from these parallel lines i can conclude many many proportions okay but the proportion you need included here I'm going to take AX and its opposite. What's its opposite? Its opposite is CY here. And I'm going to take ED and its opposite. Its opposite is EB here. Okay, so since AC parallel to XY parallel to B, D, therefore, as I said, I'm going to take X, Y over its opposite. Its opposite is C, Y. Uh, sorry, A, X, A, X over C, Y equal to A, X equal to E, B over E, D. Okay, now I'm going to make a cross multiplication AX times ED equal EB times CY. Okay, and this is what we need to prove. Next question. Question five, also I need to draw it. A, B, C, D quadrilateral, where A, B parallel to C, D. Okay, first I'm going to draw a quadrilateral like this, and I'm going to call it A, B, C, D, where A, B parallel to C, D. Its diagonals intersect at M, so I'm going to draw the diagonals like this. And the intersection point is called M. Okay. And E is the midpoint of BC. Here in this position, I'm going to draw the midpoint of BC like this. This is the point E. Okay. Midpoint of BC. EF parallel to BA. E, F parallel to B, A. So I'm going to draw from B line parallel to B, A like this. Okay, this line intersect B, D at X. So this is X. A, C at Y. This is Y. A, D at F. 
this is f okay prove that number one ey equals half a b don't forget that a b is a midpoint e is a midpoint of bc okay it's very easy to prove that ey equal half a b by looking to triangle a b c again a b c since e is a midpoint and EY parallel to AB so Y is a midpoint and the line segment connecting between two midpoints equal half <coughs> the base so EY equal half AB by another way EC by another way uh, EY over AB equal EC over CB again EY over AB equal CE over CB and CE equal half CB so EY over AB equal half uh, equal half so EY equal half AB but the, is, the easiest way by using the two midpoints okay in triangle ABC since E is a mid point of BC and also <clears throat> EY parallel to AB therefore Y is a mid point of AC and EY equals a half A B okay and this is not included okay the second required prove that AY <coughs> uh, prove that AY over CM over C M equals B X B X over D M okay since A B parallel <clears throat> to XY parallel to CD AB parallel to XY parallel to CD okay so I need to take I'm going to take the ratios that he asked me so AY over what AY over its corresponding over BX again AY over its corresponding BX over bx equal to what equal to <coughs> cm over its corresponding um, note that ay and the cm lie at the same straight line so it is cm over what over dm equal cm over dm okay from the properties of proportion ay over cm equal bx over dm again ay over cm equal bx over dm therefore ay over cm equals bx over dm and this is the second required okay now the last example is us in the opposite figure EF <coughs> parallel to CD prove that C GC square equal GA times GE okay first 
here by starting with EF and DC since EF parallel to DC therefore so I'm going to select two ratios here from here related to these two ratios here I have AD and GC AD and GC are not included here but DG and GF included DG and GF so I'm going to related to this ratio G DG over GF DG over GF over G F equal what DG over GF equal CG CG over GE equal CG or, or GC over G E and this is number one and this ratio GC over GE since this ratio I'm going to call it two since AG over GC equal DG over G F okay notes here this, ra this ratio is common DG over GF equal DG over GF this ratio is common so from 1 and 2 therefore GC over GE equal AG over GC therefore from 1 and 2 therefore GC over G E equals A G over G C and this is by making a cross multiplication G C times G C equal G C all power of two here A G times G E A G times G E and this is the end of the lesson I hope it was helpful for you see you inshallah in the next video assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh mr rahmat mr rahmat mahmoud was with you